Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Axe SCB and I am back again with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to Jeff Geo Zerlin, the co-founder of Axie Infinity, also the growth lead of Axie Infinity and Sky Mavis. Uh, we're going to be catching up. We're going to be, you know, talking all things Axie Infinity, looking into the future, uh, you know, reflecting on the growth of Axie and um, yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoy this video. Hope you guys uh, gain something from it. I am going to be really, really curious to see what you guys think about this and all the things uh, being discussed uh, in this video. So make sure you leave a comment down below and uh, let me know what you're thinking and any questions you may have. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit it with a thumbs up. And yeah, yo, uh, here with the man himself jeffrey geo zerlin growth lead from axie infinity co-founder of axie infinity we are here once again geos thank you for joining me how have you been buddy i've been i've been doing well man uh, thanks for having me thanks for the invite always fun to to chat a bit yeah for sure for sure for sure man since we last uh, spoke it's been a while so much has happened axie has been uh blowing up exactly the way uh, we predicted it to, <laughs> to predicted it to you know daily uh, active users have literally just been doubling, just going through the roof, you know all time highs, so much SLP AXS like there's just so much that's been going on, you know like crazy uh, mystic sales, crazy land sales, like so much has been going on. Where do we start, right? First of all, I just want to you know speak about you. Like, how have you been? How's your, how's life been? You know, how's uh, things been going for you? Like challenges or anything like that? Like, you know, just talk to us and, you know, let us know how it's been going for you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thanks for asking, man. Uh, life, life is good. Life is good. Uh, busy as usual. I think a lot of people like expect us to be more busy. Um, but I, I think I want to iterate that we always work as hard as possible. So uh, yeah, it's, it's been, right. It's been kind of business, uh, as always, right? Like it's obviously the world is waking up to our revolution that comes with new challenges. It comes with new opportunities. So it's, it's been really amazing. I'm currently living in Korea with my wife. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be at NFT NYC. So really excited to travel a bit and see some community members in person for the first time in what seems like forever. So. Yeah. Good to hear, man. And, uh, NFT NYC is gonna uh, looking pretty good. Hopefully, uh, they uh, allow us to travel and the borders are open, and yeah, we could potentially meet each other there. That would be cool. Um, so that's cool. So now um, let's uh, get into the exponential growth of Axie Infinity. Like, like, give us an insight of how it's been like to deal with the growth because. A lot of players uh, are coming in, they're a bit new to the ecosystem, they're not too sure what's been going on, how, it's, uh, you know, how long this is going to last for and things like that. Uh, give us an insight how you, know, you and the team have been dealing with the exponential growth and any challenges that you have come across. Obviously, we know about what's uh, going on now in terms of the survey issues and people can't play as much as they would like, which is understandable. You know, the, the game's growing at an exponential rate. So these uh, roadblocks are likely to occur. So, you know, give us uh, your take on what's been going on. Yeah, I, uh, it's been amazing to, with, uh, to behold. Uh, it's been amazing to watch this movement just spread to all corners of the world you know, north, south, east, and west, people are discovering Axie. They're falling in love with our universe. Yep. Um, it's it's just, it's a dream come true to, to get to this point, but there's still so much work to be done. Uh, you know, obviously getting the servers back <laughs> working smoothly, that's our number one priority right now. Our engineers are working so hard on it. It's their number one priority. And Andy, our CTO, is personally... Uh, working on this, we've you know added engineers to the server team. We've hired engineers, um, and yeah, so we're you know deploying small fixes uh, gradually. Um, and you you can expect to see more fixes coming uh, over the coming you know days and weeks. And then we also have like longer term major upgrades to the server uh, that are being worked on. So right, it's not just a issue. It's not just a matter of okay, like 
you know, adding more uh, power or adding more uh, computing power to the server. Uh, there's, there is a issue where we were storing all the battle logic in it's basically a single location. Um, and it's get, it just getting tangled because there are millions of concurrent battles happening each hour. Uh, so basically what we're now doing is we're going to separate out those services a little bit um, and give them some room to breathe and kind of like detangle them. Um, so yeah, th that's that's basically the, the main thing that are, uh, it's kind of like a simplified explanation of what's been happening with the server. But yeah, we're confident that our solutions are going to work. Um, it's not right, like solving a scaling server issue, it's not like a challenge in terms of creating a new industry, creating a new way of game of a game a new model for gaming, right? Yeah. It's something that every startup deals with. Uh, every, especially every exponentially growing uh, startup, whether it be a game or a product. Um, there were, you know, I remember the early days of things like Twitter. Even World of Warcraft was quite laggy, right? When I was going through major growth fit, growth phases, I was actually a beta tester uh, for World of Warcraft. Oh, like nice. the beta ran really, the beta ran really uh, open beta ran really smoothly and then when they opened it up to everybody it was just like poof, massive overload even yeah. though they were spending uh load through 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 these different shit servers so it's not unprecedented it's hist historically like the pr the the products that have had issues with outages and you know the server being slow because of too much demand these have all right it's like this is a good problem to have. This happens to products that are at the bleeding edge of a new technology where they've created something so new that there is just unprecedented demand to try it out and get started. So uh, it's a positive sign. It's a sign that, right, like in the in the bear market, the problem was that nobody wanted to play Axie, right? Yeah, yeah. So we've gone, <laughs> we've gone the circle, right? So I would rather I would rather have problems that are solvable um, due to too much demand than Right, problems where people just aren't interested or people don't care. So it's it's our number one priority, and we're confident that we'll resolve everything. That's uh, that's good. I mean, I've been in the Axie community for a while now. So one thing I will say is that the team definitely uh, deliver on um, their promises, and you know, I have no facts. I have no doubt in my mind that eventually. Uh, things will uh, go back to normal where everyone will be able to access the server and play, you know, to their heart's content. So, you know, it, as you mentioned before, like, you know, everyone has this issue and it's a beautiful problem to have, to be honest. So, you know, more power and uh, when one million uh, DAU. <laughs> um, we're, we're, we're close. I think yeah. we're at 670K right now. Nice, nice, nice. So, um <laughs> We know, we know that is uh, literally on the horizon, right? So that's uh, good. Um, so going on from that, I mean, once we, you know, once we get those server issues fixed, then um, everyone's back to playing as much as they uh, would like. What? How do you see the rest of the year shaping out also leading into uh, 2022? Like uh, what's on the uh, schedule from the Sky Mavis team and what uh, improvements or additions are going to be added to Axie Infinity? Sure. So I'm super excited. Obviously, number one, fix the server. Then yeah. <laughs> go into Axis staking, Ronin Dex, uh, the fall, winter, maybe a soft launch, soft release for or for Battles V2, aka Axie Infinity Origin. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm super excited for that. We'll test that out, get a lot of feedback, and then hopefully, right, go into a larger launch uh, next year um, on like uh, app app stores, and um, and so yeah, I, I think that's, that's going to be awesome. Uh, we've done some internal uh, testing as well as like a very private uh, alpha test for Origin um, Battles V two, and the feedback was really great. Uh, I think the art is a huge step forward. Uh, it's just faster, um, more responsive. Um, and yeah, I think it's going to be, it's going to be really fun. So yeah, I, I, and then obviously in 2022, right, uh, you know, we make, we hope to have uh, some launches related to land, which I think everyone Ooh. is super excited. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So, yeah, I think that's, you know, that's kind of uh, as far as I can, as far as what we can think um, right now, it's, that's a lot, that's a lot on our plate. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Definitely. I mean. It's a lot, a lot to come, right? A lot to come. But I mean, uh, you know, as you know, the community is this uh, waiting for it 
excited you know you know we hear when land gameplay all day every day so you know um also you we're mentioned gonna be, we're gonna sorry. Be scaling up our sorry we're gonna be scaling up our team uh at sky made this as well right That's like great. hiring more people on more engineers more artists more product people more game designers more people within the community where we were we just hired a programmatic pull from the community to be our director of support. So he's going to be making sure that everyone can start playing Axie uh, and have their you know support issues solved um, really quickly and easily. And basically his mission will be to bring tranquility to the atmosphere. He'll also likely be building out uh, a support team. Um, and yeah, obviously, you know, we can't do it alone. Uh, Axie is a partnership between the Sky Mavis team and the entire community. It's a joint project. It's something where we all push forward together. We could never have done any, we could have never gotten this far without the community. And so, yeah, uh, we're going to do this. We're going to do it together. Yep. Um, and I'm really excited for the future. Yeah. I love how Axie is like so community driven, right? Like compared to uh, other uh, games and things like that, like Axie, it was, it's the community that uh, holds a lot of things together, which is absolutely great. Because I remember when I first uh, came into Axie, uh, you know, you was like super welcoming. I met like a few people in the community that were just like super welcoming, were just trying to help me as much as possible. And that's kind of what really got me to be like, wow, like fair enough, uh, you know, owning your own assets is like amazing, like your own digital assets. That's pretty amazing. But on top of that, the community helping you out and um, guiding you is a really big part of people that stay within Axie Infinity and also recommend Axie Infinity to their friends and family as well. So um, I've, you know, I've made a lot of friends within the Axie community and, you know, I'm sure you've, <laughs> you're exactly the same. So it's just like, you know, the community is a really big part of Axie and, um, uh, it's just amazing to see the the growth, right? The growth, like the revolution, the rise of the digital nation. Uh, you know, we had a we had an interview bef uh, a while ago, and like the things that we spoke about, uh, it's just amazing to see how much of it has come to pass in like such a short amount of time. Because that was like less than a year ago, and so much has happened. <laughs> like so much has happened in such a short space. So you know, it's really exciting to see we are witnessing history right now. So, you know, don't let this moment just pass you by, like, you know, embrace this and, uh, you know, enjoy it. I also want to talk about the great migration, right? We can go back to that. I feel like that was such a huge challenge uh, for the team to be able to like move uh, a live product, right? Like, you know, everything was, you know, live, like people were playing the game, whatever. And the migration to uh, Ronan, how was that for the team? Like what challenges, um, uh, did you guys face and you know how was what did you learn from that yeah the migration was amazing i think everyone in the community really stepped up to yeah. make sure that every everyone kind of got uh from uh, got their axes and their assets from ethereum to ronin it was it was amazing to see that uh kind of combined effort from the community uh i think yeah there were a lot of complications but it was something that needed to be done i think uh, in terms of launch documentation, I think uh, it would have been better rather than having just an article um, and an FAQ. I think I should have, I would have, if I had, if we're going to do it again and for future launches, make it something more like a Git book. Um, I saw, if I'm not sure, there's something called the Axie Handbook, which is actually made by Putra or um, uh, one of our, um, our community members. And I think it's really nice with the different tabs um, where it's like each little step has its. Uh, own little section. So I think for things like the staking launch, the the ducks, um, I think they should kind of come with their own product manual that is not an article, but more so like in that gift book format with with little tabs for each uh, step and section. So um, I think that's one that's one uh, lesson. Um, I think yeah, you know, with the complexity of the Ronin Bridge, we also saw that okay, we need we can't just rely only on community members for for support. We need to. Uh, hire some people who basically are dedicating their lives uh, to, to yeah. support the Axie, yeah. um, have the Axie community. And maybe you know they'll court they're coordinating with community members as well. Um, so yeah, that was that was also kind of like an important realization. That was cool, man. I really enjoyed um, the whole migration fact and like 
how how smoothly it went. Like fair enough, it didn't you know go. It wasn't like all axes weren't transferred in a, a snap of a finger. But end of the day, we got there, and basically since the migration, uh, it's literally just been uh, up from there, right? I mean, like the Ronin Ronin Bridge has been like uh, top three in like on the Ethereum uh you know an ethereum chain right and uh you can tell like a lot of people have been using it and the fact that uh axie is now migrated over to the side chain has allowed for uh for us to see uh some of that exponential growth because uh you know moving over to Rona just eliminated so many problems which the community faced for a while and we're glad to see that you know that these are now behind us and we could move forward and you know figures don't lie right so that was uh, really good. Um, also, like, do you just want to speak about some of the metrics that we've uh, been witnessing over the past like few months, and like just like one of some of the key things that has really stood out to you, and you know, you just want to highlight something that you're proud of and things along uh, along that. Yeah. Line. yeah. The thing that I'm before we get into data, I think like the thing that I'm most proud of is how uh, members of the community have really stepped up to become leaders. Uh, in their own rights and to really kind of spread positive energy. Um, we have a lot of right people who are new to crypto that are now entering the ecosystem and there's a lot of education that needs to be done, you know, both from Sky Mavis, but also from, from the community members. And uh, right, there's, all, there's obviously, there's a lot, there's, you know, kind of some problematic in some ways, it creates new challenges. But I also wanna say that I'm really proud of how the community has uh, kind of handled this growth and how level-headed a lot of people are being, right? Like there's obviously, right, in crypto and, you know, with huge price increases and things like that, uh, people can kind of lose their uh, way in certain yeah, ways. But yeah. I think the taxi community has really kind of, you know, stayed focused um, and, and not gotten too carried away with the hype. Um, so I think that's the thing that I'm most proud of. Obviously, right? It's like um, I have a growth data sheet that I also have like kind of shared with the community. It's the same thing that I showed to the Sky Mavis team members. I think that's kind of like one of my ideas behind. You know, I try to be as transparent with the data that I'm looking at as possible. Um, so, so yeah. So <laughs> here, here's some data. So on four, on April 24th, we had 30, 38,000 uh, daily active. Uh, uh, users yeah. in, of the Unity app, the battle system. Um, we now have on seven nineteen. So a couple of days ago, we had six hundred and forty thousand. Wow! There were forty five thousand Axie holders at the end of April. We now have five hundred and seventy six thousand. It's now <sighs> over six hundred thousand. Actually, uh, wow. monthly volume was about eight million dollars um, in on April twenty fourth. It's now four hundred and twenty seven million. Oh, um, hey. There were 54,000 people in our Discord. We're now at 553,000. Uh, so that's 10x the Discord. So yeah, we're now becoming, you know, we're on pace to become, you know, one of the largest Discords in the world. Uh, we're going to hit like the 800,000 uh, person cap. We're going to have to start making region specific Discords, like one for the Philippines, one for uh, Latin America, um, things like that. So uh, yeah, it's it's been, it's, you know, like people will look back on this couple, you know, Two month stretch um, as as something very historic, where Axie left on, you know, kind of really jumped onto the world stage, and it's been a pleasure to to witness and to be a part of it. And yeah, I hope you guys have had a lot of fun, um, right? Obviously, people think about the economic aspect of it, and it can be very serious. And um, but I think we should also just take a step back and to have fun with each other. Um, and yeah, to, I think to be to be really grateful that we're taking uh, we're able to play a part in such an important movement, right? Like our goal is to change how society works uh, by introducing everyday people to blockchain using gaming as a transmission mechanism, right? If you can teach everyday people about blockchain using a game, you're able to basically create freedom. Um, and I, I think uh, yeah, it's it's just something that's so special. But yeah, we should also have fun. Like it's a game. It's it's a community. Um, so yeah, I think like yeah, it's it's just been it's just been an incredible experience. Definitely, definitely. I mean, from from where like I joined uh, Axie to where it is now, it's just been a complete transformation. 
like you you could see it just um as soon as uh live battles got introduced like literally from uh season one like pvp to what season are we were we on we just finished now season 17 correct me if i'm wrong but what's season 17 right that we just last finished um like the amount of uh players that have uh just been coming in you know you it's this you can't deny it basically so and you know also gotta mention uh the scholarships in you know how they've helped to onboard uh more and more people into the axie ecosystem so uh it's it's been a journey man it's been a journey so much uh so much so so much excitement to be honest so i've been seeing this around and i just wanted to you know pose the question to you just so that uh it's just out there and it's clear uh because there as we just mentioned a lot of new people are uh joining the ax the axie community day by day some uh people have mentioned just oh like this community i mean no sorry the ecosystem is great uh you know it's really uh, rewarding right now but how is this going to last like there has been that question floating around so i just kind of wanted to uh you know just pose it to you just to give people like uh a more you know clearer long-term vision as to as to you know certain people that may just be in it just to make as uh, much uh, money as possible but not seeing like the long-term vision of axie infinity so right now right like axie is growing really quickly and right just like any startup when you're growing things are great um axie, you can think of axie as like a startup nation but uh right now we need to, you know it we in order for our uh, economy uh to be super super healthy and, and and functioning really well um we need to grow really quickly i think that's okay that's just like any startup right if you don't grow you die yep um but over over time, right? I think uh, there there are a couple of things that can make uh, the Axie economy um, more stable um, and less reliant on constant growth, right? So some of those things are basically uh, adding additional utility to Axies. Um, so if you think of Axie, the Axie universe is a theme park, um, and Axies is a ticket as tickets to those theme parks, right? The more uh, fun experiences you can access um, with your Axies. Right, the more uh, reason there is for people to own and hold them, uh, rather than just trying to kind of you know flip them or sell them really quickly. Uh, there's also this idea of right crafting, so adding, allowing you to basically release your axes for crafting materials and uh, to use those crafting materials to upgrade your axes and form closer bonds. Right. So right now. Uh, in order for people to progress, right, they they just build out their kind of collection and get more and more and more uh, axes and breed and breed them. Um, but in the future, I think a lot of it, a lot of the progress will be about okay, uh, you know, get by either buying axes or breeding axes, but then using them to upgrade um, your favorite axes, right? So that that makes it so that uh, there's more demand for axes, there's more supply sinks for axes. Um, I think that's going to be really helpful. Um, I think, right, like. Yeah, you know, Axie is still an alpha product. Um, so I think like the fact that we're growing uh, at this rate so early with so little content, I think is a really good sign that right as we release more features, um, we're going to be able to be uh, something that appeals to even more people, right? I think like potentially Axie could be the largest game that ever exists. Yeah. Why? Because it has this community social aspect of it. Um, it has, right, like Pokemon, for, right? Like digital pets are the... I think like have proven themselves to be like the largest uh, and most relatable like type of gaming experience. And then there's also obviously this aspect of work and a new type of work that will unlock new uh, archetypes of gamers. New people will want to become gamers when uh, it can actually help them in their real lives. Um, so yeah, these these are things that I think are going to be really important. I also uh, think that right like there needs to be uh, eventually. Right, as Axie becomes a huge network, it becomes kind of like a distribution channel or a platform for people to uh, access our community, right? So just like MakerDAO, Aave, right? They gave us tokens to give to the community as yeah, kind of, they want, they want to uh, do branding, right? 
kind of like marketing to the Axie community so that people learn about their projects, learn about their DeFi protocols. I think that that's also going to be super important. Um, and that will also be like a source of capital that's not reliant on new players entering the ecosystem. Um, I think that there will also be like a nonprofit organizations. You're starting to see this where people are uh, raising money and then donating it and, you know, buying, buying axes and giving away scholarships without, you know, any expectation of them, uh, you know, returning, uh, trying to make a financial return. They just see it as a way to help people. Right. So if we see people buying axes and giving them to other people as like a way of um, helping them, then, yeah, you know, that's, that's like also a really interesting dynamic that I think is going to be uh, growing more and more over time. So, yeah, it's kind of, a, it's, it is a complex, a uh, thing, but right, like at the end of the day, this is a this is a new model, and um, the right, like, yeah, it's it, it works because we're allowing the player economy to be owned by the players, um, right, like, and we're Sky Mavis and the player base are in, are aligned, right, to basically grow that player economy as large as possible, and there's also. A, a section in the white paper that was added recently called the Axie Population and Long-Term Sustainability. Yep. Uh, if, if you found like what I just talked about pretty interesting, like I, I recommend also checking out that section of the white paper. It's actually under gameplay. And yeah, I think I think that um, will also have a lot of uh, information. Um, yeah, that, I mean, <laughs> that is just amazing. And yeah, long-term, the, the way um, Sky Mavis is obviously aligned with the player uh, economy, that is um, big. And that's something that we don't uh, usually uh, see, right? So the fact, like, the fact that, we're, that that's what's happening and that's the plan for the future, uh, I feel like that's pretty amazing uh, for the players as well, right? Because how, how, how much have we seen... Um, with uh, traditional games where they're not really, they don't really have like the players' in intentions uh, at heart, right? So, um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Wow. <clears throat> Definitely uh, good stuff and excited for the future. I mean, when I first came into Axie Infinity, I, I was taken back sheerly by the fact that, okay, um, this is a game that works. Uh, the axes also have utility and i am able to own these assets once uh you know they're in my wallet i own them axie infinity is not going to make like an axie infinity 2 right that uh basically dis like destroys your axes in a way where they're useless for this for the new game coming out right and you have to buy new axes to play that game no that that's mm -hmm. not what it is and um you know allowing players to earn from you know doing what they love is massive and is obviously changing the world um rapidly we've seen it in uh, loads of different countries where um people have played Axie and they've been able to provide um better uh, uh quality of living for themselves for their families able to do numerous things we've even seen people you know set up like food stalls and things like that in order to give back to their community all from uh things that they've earned from axie infinity i mean i can't remember the last game that's allowed players to do such a thing right uh somebody can correct me if i'm wrong but i mean wow right and i've come from traditional gaming where i've literally sunk in like thousands and thousands of pounds into games for it to be like okay well you've spent all of this on this game for this year uh we're bringing out a new game uh next year and you're basically gonna have to do it all over again right mm -hmm. so um <laughs> I, I think this is right this is uh this is a really good point it's about right like one axie many experiences right it's yes uh, this idea it's kind of like vertical interoperability right so it's like i think right uh you don't just right it's like you have one game asset um one team of axes and you can use that across an entire universe of games and an entire ecosystem of games i think a lot of people when they thought about blockchain gaming they're like oh i want to take my assets from one ecosystem and bring them to another um, but that's actually much harder to do and we haven't seen any successful examples of that what I think is more interesting and more doable and what we're actually seeing is all right, one team of axes, multiple experiences, right? Um, and I think uh, I think that's actually the future of interoperability, at least for the short term.
Sounds great, man. But yeah, man. Uh, also, I wanted to speak about was uh, free to play axes and what's that going to mean for Sky Mavis? And if you can, I know it's not fully finalized in terms of every single detail, but if you can, you know, speak about uh, the things that you can to, you know, let us know how, you know, free to play axes is going to like change the scope of X Infinity as well. For all those people who are, you know, having a hard time with the uh, uh, entry barrier. Yeah, definitely. So the idea of free to play axes is, is to make it so that people can fall in love with our universe and get a taste of what the game is like before uh, making any like big economic decisions, right? So free to play axes. I think one of the questions that people often have is like, will they be able to earn like SLP and Axis? Right. The answer yeah. is. The answer is that yeah, these these axes will have very limited, if if not zero, uh, ability to actually earn assets um, that are like transferable on the blockchain. Um, you know, you so so they're not really like fully functional axes, right? And they're also not transferable. Um, there will be like they will be very heavily restricted. But the idea is to allow people to play without having to set up a wallet, buying ETH. Right, to allow them to get a taste of the game and what it's like and fall in love with the universe. And then many of these people will become right full on blockchain users. Right. So basically this will allow our player economy to grow faster because you're now unlocking an entirely new user group that uh, right, like might have been more skeptical, but when they actually get a taste of the gameplay, they're like, wow, this is a blockchain game that's actually fun. I want to be a part of it now that I've actually tested it for myself. Um, so that's basically the philosophy behind the Soulbound Axes. It's going to be really great for the uh, for the player economy by basically yeah, allowing us to grow faster as, as a digital economy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, that's definitely uh, going to unlock the next phase, in my opinion. I feel like once free-to-play Axes are uh, going to be available for everyone, I think we're going to see unprecedented numbers, right? <laughs> like, because it just it just makes sense. So, definitely looking forward to that because I know that there is definitely a lot of demand to play the game now. Even like you know, uh, scholarships are you know, there's so many scholarships and you know they still can't keep up with uh, the demand of uh, people wanting to play Axie Infinity right now. So, you know, that's all positive stuff. Man, <laughs> how, do, how do you think this is going to look uh, this time next year, Gios? <laughs> it's going to be interesting. Uh, every, right, like whenever you look back a year uh, from, like whenever you look back in Axie, it's always unrecognizable. So a year ago, right, we were just starting to experience like a little bit of growth. Um, like uh slp was starting to get like gain more popularity and people were starting to like i think we were like you know getting close to maybe the first scholarship program launching uh so yeah i think a year from now um things things are going to be awesome yeah. uh, i think the gameplay is going to be on a whole new level uh, i think the type right like Axie is going to be more accessible the economy should be much larger um yeah so these are these are all things i one thing that i hope is i hope that the uh, the community stays loving and helpful to each other and the with positive energy and that's going to be really key like we need to be tight-knit even when we're large it's easier to be a good community a tight-knit community when you're small yeah but keeping that tight-knit spirit keeping that sense of fraternity that's when you're large i think that's really important right like everyone Every Lunasian, every member of the Axie community needs to feel like every other member of the Axie community is their family member. That's the only way that we're going to be able to make this happen and, and continue to thrive. Good stuff there, man. And I agree with that because, as we mentioned uh, earlier, uh, community was, uh, you know, well, is the biggest thing for me. And I'm sure it is uh, for a lot of people out there as well. So remaining tight knit once we uh it continue to expand would be uh fantastic so um yeah hopefully that all plays out i mean just it's been the time's gone so quick here i mean thank you so much but before you go right we want to i'd want to ask you like what can and, and this could be a bit greedy here right because i know you guys kind of uh leak stuff um 
in the uh, last uh, official Axie broadcast, right? Um, but c- can you can you tell us something that's you know on the way or something that is closer than uh, we expect? Than you might think. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we want to hear something like that. I think that. like maybe the 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 Axis staking and the Dex. Like I think that yeah. might be might be sooner than people might uh, might imagine. So. Mm-hmm. Oh man, Ronan Dex is one of my things that I'm just looking forward to because you know if you want Project X, Ronan Dex, Rex. Ronan Dex. There you go. There you go. I'm definitely looking forward to that, man, because you, you can already see the need for the Ronan Dex, uh, you know, interacting with uh, the website so much, right? So once that comes, like, it's hard to be like, when I see some, uh, you know, like negative stuff on uh, online, right? It's, it is kind of mind boggling. Obviously, I get it because, you know, once you start growing and expanding and, you know, uh more people are looking at you you're gonna have people say uh some negative things which is you know it is what it is but some of it i'm just like man are you really are you for real right now like are you not seeing what axi infinity is doing and what is to come like what are you talking about <laughs> like all the, all, the, all the haters all the impatient people like they just need to be educated right like we just need to be patient with them like they'll come around like it, believe it or not some of the veterans who are in the community now like three years ago they weren't angels you know like they were <laughs> they, 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 you know they were perfect right they, they also like had concerns and, and stuff right and so you know they people take some time to get acquainted with sky mavis the way that we do things um the axi community the way that uh we do things but yeah, it's just it's just uh it's just time one percent better every day, and the people that right like are good fits for the community, they're gonna stick around and um, they're gonna they're gonna yeah they're gonna learn like that's this is the way. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly, man. I mean, wow, man, we've covered we've covered quite a bit, Gios, uh, and um, yeah, just want to say thank you for you know taking the time out to uh, you know have this chat with me. It's been it's been great. Uh, I may have missed something, but I mean, we've covered quite a bit, right? So, uh, and you've given us some leaks and stuff to look forward to. So, uh, definitely big uh, shout out to you. Uh, you and the team have been doing, you know, an amazing job. I think people are really excited for merch too. So that's oh, something that we're... That's true. That's true. Can't wait for that to come out as well. I mean, yeah, look, yeah, check you out, right? <laughs> I've been wanting one of those since I, since I joined the XE community, like straight away, like... Um, Dude, these are rare man like one of the yeah. problems is like they're they're uh they're just hard to get to right now like yeah <laughs> uh they're they're uh they're locked up so yeah also wait oh sorry can i put this in there real quick as well right uh how do you see um i know you you guys have been expanding uh recently and you guys have now hired uh esports uh director uh, forgive me if i get the title mm-hmm. wrong um but mm-hmm. Uh, that's, you know, that's been a really good hire. Um, Zori's coming to the community, uh, great guy. And, uh, I just want to get your take on how do you see, uh, you know, just the East, just like an overview of how do you see the esports aspect of X Infinity, uh, growing throughout the, uh, years to come? Yeah, I think like competitive PVP is uh, really important for Axie, right? Like, so, you know, there's, I guess there's competitive PVP, which is just part of the game, right? Yeah. Which is, right? And then there's esports, right? So esports traditionally like large tournaments, right? Like casting uh, uh, with, you know, huge prize pools and tournaments. Whereas, I mean, yeah. And then there's the competitive PVP. Um, so, yeah, I, th- I think it's going to be, uh, you know, it's going to be getting larger and larger, right? That's one of the reasons that we hired Zayori and brought him on board. Uh, I think it's going to be awesome. It's going to it's going to uh, allow for a lot of bonding. It's going to show to the world that Axie is a competitive, fun game. It's not just about this narrative, right, of uh, uh, crypto and, and things like that, right? Uh, it's it is it is a serious, fun game that you know is can hold its own um, even if there was no blockchain type, a blockchain element involved. Like we we strongly believe that we could make like great uh mobile games um uh you know that even if they didn't involve a blockchain it's just blockchain as a tool to kind of take it to the next level and turn it into uh you know turn a fun game it's something that's more like a movement and the creation of an entire digital economy so yeah esports i i think keep an eye out for bigger announcements from us related to esports 
reports is something that we're going to be doubling down on. I'm super excited. Uh, I think Zira is doing an awesome job. And uh, yeah, you know, we do, we just put out that call for events as well. Um, yeah. So we have, I think we're also going to see more, right? Like we're going to see more big stuff from our end, but then also more like organic, uh, you know, tournaments and, and leagues from within the community. So yeah, I'm super excited about that. Nice, nice, nice. Great stuff. Um, I'm super excited about that, to be honest, you know, because that's always been a thing that I've been interested in since I came into the Axie Infinity community. So great to hear. And uh, yeah, just looking forward to the future. I mean, Axie has changed my life, right? And um, I'm sure it's changed a lot of people's lives already. And I'm sure it will continue to change other people's lives as well. So, um, you know, Thank you for providing this, to be honest. And, you know, uh, you and the team, you guys have, you know, done a great job. Thank you so much. And, uh, yeah, uh, appreciate you taking the time out to, uh, you know, come relax and just have a quick chat. And, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, we will catch up again soon. Uh, yeah, appreciate your time taken out. And uh, if there's any, uh, like, a last message you want to put out there just for people who are new into Axie and, you know, testing the waters. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, man. Uh, like, you, you know, you, you do so much awesome work for the community. You, you know, you've been such a voice of reason and, and kind of a stalwart member with it, within the community for years now. So, you know, it's, it's, it's not, it's not us. It's, it's all of us together. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. And to the, to, yeah, to new members of the Axie community, I and mean, if you're watching this, I think like you're, you're gonna do well. You're, you know, like I think part of Axie is that, you know, you should do the research, you should, you know, watch closely, uh, you know, read read our announcements very closely and then, yeah, try and, you know, maybe watch interviews that we do and put out there and then you can get a little bit more understanding of our long-term vision. Um, we try and think really, really long-term within the Axie community, right? So, right, even though Axie is just becoming very popular now, We've been building this for four years, so we're very, you know, we really believe in like long-term uh, growth and just getting one percent better day by day by day. And so, yeah, you know, we're working really hard on the server, which is, I think, the thing that most new players are really right is top of mind, right? So, you know, please know that we're doing everything we possibly can to fix that issue. Um, it really pains us and hurts us to see you suffering and unable to play the game that we built with so much love. Um, so yeah, uh, you know, please take a deep breath. Um, things are going to be okay. We're going to solve this. We're going to solve it together. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm really excited for the future. And yeah, welcome to the Axie community. Hell yeah, man. Geos, you are the man. Appreciate you as always. Guys, if you've uh, liked this, make sure you hit it with a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. Also, you know, leave some comments in there and, uh, you know, tell us what you think. Tell us your experience. And uh, yeah, definitely be seeing you guys in Lunasia. Gios, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Take care. See you later, man.